I've got a great project here today in collaboration with Enthusiast Auto Group. You want to learn more about the car, more about the project, stay tuned because we're going to go into all those details next. Hi, I'm Todd Cooperider with Esoteric. I'm here at one of the beautiful places with Enthusiast Auto Group. Eric, thanks for having us uh, down here. This is one of your su super secret locations <laughs> that you have. Um, you have got an amazing group of, uh, uh, of cars here. Um, thanks for, for you know, getting us involved in this project. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we, we call this super secret warehouse number one. This is where we keep Evan and I's uh, private collection as well as where we keep uh, a lot of our more special cars that are coming soon. Uh, yeah. This is kind of our hangout and office of sorts and, and something that we're quite proud of and worked really hard for uh, 21 years now to get to. And yeah, awesome. I'm happy to share this with you, with you guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, there's just some amazing cars, a couple of, uh, of them in here that uh, I would like to drive home with, but uh, we can do that we, later. Yeah, yeah, we can, <laughs> we can handle that later. Let me back up a little bit, talk a little bit about the story. So, right now, as we're filming this, this is April 2021. Last year, about this time, maybe a little bit before that, March, mm -hmm. um, we had talked uh, and and about doing this project. We had planned to mm -hmm. come down. We we're going to film, you know, it coming out of the the barn, basically that had been sitting in for a while, but then COVID hit. Um, and we had to put everything uh, on hold, but fast forward a year later, here we are getting ready to do it. So tell us a little bit about this car, the history of it, and how you guys came across it. This is a really, really special car, and that's frankly why we wanted to, to do a, a partnership and a collaboration with, with Esoteric. It has just one owner, yep. 13,931 miles. Yeah. It's a barn find, uh, quasi, uh, more of a workshop find mm -hmm. on a lift at, at a mechanics uh, facility, but all the same, uh, it, you know, it, it's rested idle for going on 20 years. May 31st of 2001 was the last New York vehicle registration and uh, the last emissions in 2000. And it was a present from a husband to a wife. Mm. And uh, they had just been married, uh, family starting relatively soon. Family now comes and all of a sudden an E30 M3 isn't the best <laughs> kid mobile. And the car remained uh, in the family, but got less and less and less use, became more of the, the weekend car. The car then uh, is taken off the road in New York in 2001 and, and remains in uh, the owner's garage. 2015, he uh, sent the car to, of all places, Northern Kentucky. There was a retired mechanic that uh, had a, a connection with the family, had some shop space and said, hey, I can get that thing going for you again. It's been 14, 15 years. And well, they just never got around to it and things come up. Life happens. <laughs> Life does happen, like COVID happens. Yes, and that's yeah. why we're doing this a year in arrear. Exactly. And so getting the car mechanically sorted is, is really where we're going to be going and transitioning next before we you know, hand the reins mm -hmm. and responsibility over to you and your team. These guys are the encyclopedia basically of, of, of BMW and, and older M cars in particular. Uh, you know the histories. Uh, a lot of these cars you get to sell multiple times and you sell them, they come back. There's one E30 M3. We did a, a VinWiki video with mm -hmm. Ed on, uh, and I'm actually now working on buying it back, which this will be the 14th time we've sold that same okay. E30 M3. It's the second E30 M3 we ever bought back mm -hmm. way back when. And so taking those extra st steps is what we've learned to do because at the end of the day, we buy all of our cars back from our clients. Mm -hmm. And if we didn't do it right the first time, guess what? You're going to have to do it uh, the second time it comes around. Yeah. And that's going to cost more money. When you're getting a car from EAG, you're getting the best of the best. You're not just picking up any BMWs that, that, that you can find. Tell us a little bit about uh, you know, how you guys established yourself as you know, the go-to people in the BMW world. Grandfather's John Deere dealer. Father followed his footsteps, opened up his own shop. Evan and I worked with our hands growing up on, mm -hmm. on all kinds of equipment and, and understanding the mechanical nature of, of machinery. And if you take care of your machinery, you know, it's going to take care of you. Yeah. Every, every three years, you change all the U-bolts on your plow. Otherwise, yep. that fourth year is just not going to be as good as mm -hmm. uh, what you thought when you got that piece out of the, of the barn uh, come spring. And so that preventative maintenance mindset was something that was drilled in super early. And EAG's pillar is, is find the right car from the right owner. We, we send wire transfers like, you know, we're ordering McDonald's. Yep. But we, we qualify the car. We're very, very particular mm -hmm. with what we put our name on because once the car is here, it's our responsibility. We are more of a BMW adoption agency. Um, bring us your, your beautiful car that you've loved, that you've cared for. You've spent way more time waxing than you have filling it with gas. Yeah. Because it's been your pride and joy like it has been for this family. 
and let's keep it on the right path. Let's keep it in a home that somebody's gonna love it, cherish it. Do the things, make great memories with the mm -hmm. car, drive it, share it with others. But in order to do so reliably, because your kids are in the back. That's what's been done yeah, to so this car. To I mean, this here one, it is. Yeah. I mean, this, this, <laughs> this is exactly, I mean, you know, we can do whatever uh -huh. we want to this paint. I mean, it's fine, because it is never been detailed. It's never been polished. It's never been buffed. Yeah. And you know, that we would, I, I would do this on cars growing up. I mean, I, when's the last time you've done this? Do it. It's, do it's, it. Do it. Yeah, I mean, it's, come on. It's been, it's been, it's yeah, been I mean, a long time. I, Usually I, it's <laughs> if I get a rental car, I'm on yeah, vacation I mean, or whatever. Yeah, I do those like, things. I mean, I've but, never, I haven't rubbed a body line of an E30 like this in a, such a long time. Yeah. Because and, we're getting ready to do all the work right, on it. I mean, this now thing, after, after we're done, we will if, never be doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. After you we're will, done, there's the, going to be a sign that says, "Look, but please do not touch." Yeah, exactly. And, and exactly. that's that's where we'll end up. But uh, you know, getting it to that point is, is the artist and craft that you guys have developed. Yeah. Well, that's where we came in on the mechanical side and what we've dubbed a rejuvenation program, where yeah. we spend the money, we take the time, we get to know the car, we we change the oil, we change all the fluids, we go do our detailing process. We don't subscribe to good enough. Yeah. We subscribe to would it be better if. And at this point, uh, there's no other company that's worked on more M cars or sold more M cars outside of the manufacturer than, than, than my brother and I. And I'm super proud of the, be able to take that um, responsibility of preserving these cars to that next level. And, and I thought this would be a great car for your company to showcase what you guys do as we have been for so long, but do so to maybe a different stream of enthusiasts that uh, maybe had this car on their poster uh, growing up, like so yeah, many of the guys all, that are our yeah. clients today. But um, finding an all original, never previously modified, one owner car with 13,000 miles, validated and verified from a, a, a reputable source, E30 M3s were meant to be driven. And driven they were, they were raced. I mean, yep. half of these have roll cages in them. Keeping these cars in great homes certainly has been a very rewarding experience. And, and that's kind of what's got us to, to where we're at today now. 21 years, we're, we're 30 staff. A lot of the clients are sending their cars to us from out of state. Um, it's a you know almost a year long waiting list sometimes, but the best steakhouse has a long waiting list too. Yeah, And exactly. you do what you pay for. And, and we'll do it right. So you guys, you know, you're going to go in do, you know, I know you had like three pages of mechanical uh, stuff in there that, that you were uh, talking about uh, doing. Um, yeah, yeah, three. Mm -hmm. Three, one, two, three. Uh, there's 11 Four, pages. Five, 11 pages. Okay, so yeah. I was a little off there. Yeah, and, and that's, you know, what it takes. And this is just the initial rejuvenation roadmap, as we call it. Uh, you know, that roadmap is what's going to be prescribed when the car arrives to go through that initial check-in. And, uh, you know, at this point, it's eighteen and a half thousand dollars And, you know, that's actually a little light um, at the moment because it's the initial inspection. We did a compression test right out the gates after we did our full, basically first start procedure. Mm -hmm. I mean, we oiled the, the cylinders. We're inspecting with a boroscope, making sure all the cross hatching is, is consistent and the, the rings aren't seized in any mm -hmm. cylinders. I mean, we're basically tearing the motor down as much as we need to, to ensure that we're not going to damage anything from those 14, 15 years of sitting and going through the fuel system, all the consumables, r rubber. I mean, it just, it, it took a lot of time and effort to get the point to where we're going to go ahead and put power to the car and start it. Mm -hmm. And it's just, being safe because the car you know, deserves it. This is the first time we've had somebody detail one of our cars since ever. Yeah. Evan, yeah, I mean, Evan my you're... brother and business partner, he was detailing the cars when yeah. we first started. And because of that, we're that much more thankful that you wanted to get you know, involved with us in this project because you know we know that you've got the ability to do this stuff in-house. We know that we're gonna have a, a pink correction on here. We, we've got, originality that we want to stay with as much as possible. You know, it'd be easy just to go in and strip everything and repaint it, but that's not what we're uh, about here. Um, you know, you, you look inside the engine compartment and everything is is honest as it should be, honest. Give me a little flashlight on there for yeah, us. You, you've got your, your, you know, Cosmoline that was there uh, when it came from uh, the factory and, you know, you go strip all that stuff off you lose a little bit of the, the originality. Uh, they're, they're only original once. And you know, this is a Zinnabarat. This is a uh, early color. It's not the first red. Hennerat was the first, but I, I, I'll point this out. Let, read this, uh, this uh, label here. Uh, BMW all the way back then realized that this car was potentially an investment, uh, something that meant a lot to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Preserving that originality is really what we've um, focused on. I mean, the car's still running its R12 air conditioning system. Uh, it was a hard decision. It's something I actually even uh, shared with you guys earlier when you arrived. Of, you know, do we take all this Cosmoline off or do we keep it? And, and I think in this case, we'll let the next owner make that decision because he's going to write his own chapter with the car. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I love this sticker here on the side. It's, it's obviously the original owner felt very proud of the car when they bought it, having the Rusty Jones car saver system. 
Uh, you know, in Zinnebrot, for example, you know, it is very customary with Zinnebrot for the, the plastic materials to age relative to how it uh, is applied to the sheet yep. metal. And how do you know that car is original? Well, uh, it's four different colors of red. It's got all the Cosmo. You can't synthesize this stuff. If a Zinnebrot isn't a couple different shades of color, then obviously we're looking at a car that was recently repainted. That, that's one thing that we just talked about in a, a recent F40 video that, uh, that we shot. You know, been doing those kind of cars for a long time. And the originality is very important. Preservation is really important uh, with these cars. You don't just go take a car like this, sand out every single you know, defect. What happens when this owner gets it? Maybe something happens, he goes to a detailer, there's no paint left and you end up burning it and then all the originality is gone. So I would rather leave some age marks, some beauty lines, whatever uh, you wanna call it, and be safe um, for the preservation aspect because this car is gonna be around for a long time. We're gonna go and, and get rid of as much as we can um, uh, in a safe manner to make it look fantastic. Plenty of, uh, uh, of, of scratches and swirls and, and marring. I mean, you know, 1988, a lot of years. The, these cars, they have a, a personality and a character and everything to them. You don't wanna go and completely change that. You know, uh, patina is, is earned from enjoyment. Mm -hmm. and, and knowing that this is somebody's baby and that this is more family member than, than red BMW yep. um, is why the car's here. It's important though to, to work with people that you trust and with products that you know. And, mm -hmm. and I mean, we've been buying products from you guys for again going on, you know, eight Quite years. Quite some time now, um, yeah. And, and lots of it because we go through lots of these cars uh, and we're not opposed to spending the best money to get the best product or the best service because that's what I think these cars really deserve and enjoy. And so it's really going to be a fun um, road to, to see where, where this car ends. Um, it's certainly going to be a beautiful one. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah we're, we're all looking forward to it. Uh, you know, we're all fans of the, of the old M cars. And to be able to see something like this, you know, we, we know the color is gonna change quite a bit. And then this will be in just fantastic condition when yeah, it's I mean, done. Listen to these doors. Yeah, shut they, they, they just don't, they don't make them yeah. like they used to. Yeah. And, and these 80s era analog cars, both BMW, obviously lots of other brands. It's really a fun, cool, special car that really is the best to experience at speed. Yeah. And the only way to do that better is to have it looking super, super great doing it. <laughs> yep. Well, once again, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to, to work on it. Um, you know, we're going to do a lot of documentation just like uh, you're going to do. You know, that stuff can, you know, follow the history uh, of, of the car. Uh, we're going to be getting plenty of, of documentation of the process, you know, polishing any of the stuff that, that we're doing on it. Uh, and we're going to have uh, at least another follow up video. Uh, of this to go over uh, all of that stuff and and we look forward to you know seeing this project all the way through and see when it's done on your end of the mechanical then we can do the beautification uh, preservation aspect of it and then share it with uh, with everybody uh, you know we went over a lot of information about this car but it's a really cool story it's a really cool you know, collaborative effort that uh, that we're doing with uh, with eric at eag and you know we appreciate you guys hanging out with us make sure that you stay tuned for the next episode or episodes that we're going to do um, in the meantime we've got a couple other videos that, that uh, you can watch uh, check out the esoteric channel thanks we look forward to seeing you again on the next video